um, sea moss, aka Irish moss, which is what most island people, I know that's what my grandmother used to call it. It is extremely healthy for you. So it is something that we're going to be incorporating into our regimen. So I've made it actually a couple of times and I wanna show you guys how I make it. Now I have, this is video is gonna be um, put into two parts because you do have to soak it for, um, you have to soak it for, I think they said in between um, 12 to 24 hours or a little bit more. I usually just soak mine for the day um like overnight and then i'll make my gel like the next day so i'm gonna show you how i clean it and do all that stuff um and then i will be back tomorrow and show you guys how i what else i need to do to prep it and then bottle it and all that good stuff um so this is what it looks like okay so first thing i'm gonna do is wash it um, and then I'm going to cut a lime and put it in there. So first I'm going to wash it thoroughly. Okay. And for me, I know there's like these little black spots that are on it. I know they said it doesn't mean anything, but for me personally, because I just don't like the look of it. Let me actually take it out of the bag so you guys can see it better. So you guys can see like the black spots I'm talking about. So this is what it looks like, first of all my camera focus okay and you see these little marks these not marks but these little brownish spots that you see on there i personally just don't like the way that it looks so i cut them off but it's not gonna it ain't gonna kill you so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna wash it and then um squeeze a lime in there because that will help get rid of the the ocean taste and the smell and all that good stuff and then i'm going to submerge it in water now they say to use filtered alkaline water i don't have alkaline water so i'm just going to use my trusty handy daddy handy dandy handy dandy beretta filtered water um i just use what i got guys and then i'm going to put it in this container i'm sure it's probably best to put it in a glass container but again i'm using what i have at home um Put it in this container cover it and then i'm gonna leave it overnight and then tomorrow i'll finish it off so i'm just gonna show you guys that i'm gonna play music over this part because this is gonna take me a minute um and then yeah and then tomorrow i'll be back to finish and show you guys the finished product okay alrighty
Okay guys, so I have, so I have finished washing all of the, the sea moss. I added some lime in there, like I said, to get rid of that ocean. I'm coming, mama. Okay, I need to cut this and go <laughs> do it with my daughter. Um, um, what was I saying? I put the lime in there to get rid of like the that oceany smell taste. If you notice that it's already started to expand in size, I'm gonna show you that now. I'm trying to be quick because my camera's about to die. It's already gonna expanded in size, probably gonna get about two times um, bigger than what I showed you with that was in the bag. I added some more um, water to my breader because I'm gonna pour a little bit more water on there because our little bit of pieces are sticking out the water and I need to cover it completely. I'm gonna leave it like this overnight and then sometime tomorrow I'll go ahead and and um, blend it up and show you guys what everything looks like. So I'm just gonna show you guys here and then I'm gonna end this video here and then jump back on tomorrow. So this is what it's looking like right now. Like I can, you can see that it's already started to expand. It's a lo lot bigger than what it was. I'm gonna leave the limes and everything in there like I said and then I will jump back on tomorrow so you guys can see what it's looking like. Hey guys, okay, so now it is the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. I'm just gonna rinse it in just like I was showing guys before, my regular tap water, and then I'm going to blend it with some of the filtered water in my Brita. So give me a second, I wanna show you guys what it's looking like now. Remember? Okay, so it's been soaking now for, it's been soaking now for about, I want to say like 14 to 15 hours um, I'm gonna show you guys I remember I told you that it was gonna about is gonna double in size so you guys seen how much I showed you was inside that little ziploc bag right that I had and now this is what we have almost looks like um, from the side it looks, almost looks like wrong okay I'm gonna show you guys Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. All right, I still have the lime in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it. And then we're gonna finish it up by blending it. So I made sure I went through and I rinsed it off with a strainer. I like make sure, so it definitely doesn't have like the sea smell. It kind of smell had a hint of lime in there because obviously I had the lime in the water as I was having it soak so I rinsed it thoroughly to get the lime I don't want it to taste like lime I remember the first time I did it like I've only made it a couple of times but the first time I made it I had the lime in there and then I used some of the the water that was inside of it in to in the blender when I was blending it and it had a lime flavor in which I'm okay with when I'm making like tea but I want to be able to use it in like to cook and stuff like that so I don't want it to necessarily have the lime flavor in there so this time I made sure to wash it like wash it really good get all the lime stuff off of it and um now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to blend it and then I'm gonna bottle it so give me one second let me grab my blender trying to do this quick while the baby's sleeping the blender will probably wake her up but at least i'll be like close to finish by then i tried to do this while she was up it was not getting done guys trust me it was not gonna get done because she is definitely like my little you guys can see me yeah she's definitely like my little um color stalker but she's definitely like a stage five cleaner she <laughs> is like my little handbag anywhere i go she wants to be there with me i'm gonna put them in these two mason jars and then actually i'm gonna fill a mason jar and then i'm going to put the remainder in a plastic container and i'm gonna put it in the freezer so it in the mason jar in the fridge it should last up to about a month 
if I put some in the freezer, it lasts about three to four months. So I'm gonna freeze them. I'm gonna make enough where I can give some to my parents and then the remainder I'm gonna freeze, um, put in the freezer. Okay guys, so you're, she's up. <laughs> so she's, I'm trying to keep her occupied with her toys in the background so I can finish this. So mason jar. Okay, mama. Mommy's coming. Okay. The first time I made this, guys, my the blender that I was using broke as I was making it, which is freaking crazy. Okay. I'm not gonna put all of it in. I'm gonna like do two. What you gonna call it? Batches, I guess you can call it. Let it filter the water. I'm just gonna go a little bit about there. I'll blend it, I'll see the consistency. If it's what I like, then I'll go ahead and keep it. If not, then I'll add more liquid to it. Okay guys, I think it's finished blending. Let's see what it's looking like, hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's done. You can see the consistency of it. It's like a a gel so that's the consistency I'm cool with yeah I'm good with this I know it doesn't look <laughs> that appetizing and it looks like I won't say but it looks yeah but um all the health benefits that we're gonna get from this Almost done, mamakins. Almost done. Oh, wait, no. I thought for sure this was gonna take like two. Okay. For sure I thought this was gonna be two containers. Okay. So one down and then I'm gonna do the rest of it. Okay guys, I am finished making the gel. It, the second one gave me, gave me a lot actually, a lot more than I was expecting. Well, yeah, more than I expected. I plan on using the sea moss um, in pretty much everything that I possibly can. Um, when it comes to like my tea and stuff that I have in the morning, I drink tea every single morning. I love my tea. Or if it's not tea, it's hot chocolate. It's one of the two. Um, I put it in that. I'm gonna use it in when I cook to thicken up my gravy. Um, can use it in soup, can use it in like sauce. You can pretty much use it in almost anything. Um, well, at least I'm gonna use it in pretty much almost anything. Anything that I can possibly stick and force some more <laughs> nutrients and goodness for my body into i'm going to do i'm going to put it in there i will catch you guys in the next video if you guys enjoyed this video please do not forget to comment like subscribe and let me know how you guys make your sea moss gel okay guys i'm out of here like comment subscribe and um i hope to see you guys around for the next video all right bye